so hello everyone welcome back so, i hope you all are doing great so in the previous video we have discussed the recursive approach to insert a node in a binary search tree so in this video we will discuss the iterative approach to insert a node in binary search tree so let me tell you it is better than the recursive method as we will not use any extra space so let's see so let's understand it by example so let's say we are given with the binary search tree 10 5 15 12 18 so let's say we have to insert 20 then to be binary search tree so we must keep in mind the condition for binary search tree so let's say we have to insert 20 then according to binary search tree where we will insert it is so 20 is greater than 10 we will go to its right subtree then 20 is also greater than 15 then we will go to right subtree and again 20 is greater than 18 so we'll go to its right subtree and we will insert 20 here so let's see how we will insert so to insert any node or anything at any place first we have to search its uh, position where we have to insert it pehle uski jagah search karni padegi kahan usko insert karna hai tabhi usko insert karenge na jaise then we will uh, initialize two pointers let's say one is current and one is previous our current point will point to our root and previous will point to null let me tell you why we are taking this previous so our current will it will traverse the tree and our previous pointer will connect or link our uh, new node where we have to insert it let me tell you by an example so our current is point uh, current is pointing to our root node and previous is pointing to null so what we will do is we will run while loop while current is not equal to null what we will do is we will update our previous to current uh, and if current data is greater than key we will set current to currents left means we will discard the right subtree and if current data is greater is less than key then we will set current to currents right and we will discard left subtree so at last what will happen is this will be our final parent node or previous node means we will keep updated our parent node and at last what we will do is while current is not equal to null here it is null so our current reached here so here we will return our new node which we have to insert but to link it we have to link it that's why we are taking this previous let me tell you by a code so here is the code first we are taking temp and uh, to create our new node then a parent or previous we are doing uh, doing it null and current is pointing to our root node so we are running while loop while current is not equal to null we will keep updated our our parent node so first we are searching its position where we have to insert it so we are keep updating our parent then if current value is greater than the value we have to insert then we will move to left to search its position else if if current value is less than value then we will move to right else if current is null we will return our root so if parent is equal to null we will return our time this is the special condition when the given tree is empty so now up to this code we have searched the position where we have to insert it so now what we are doing is this is the special condition when given tree is empty we will simply turn our new node so now here we have 10 5 15 12 18 and we were inserting 20 here so now at last this will become our parent because we are keep updating our parent while current is not equal to null and here it is current it is null so we will enter into this if, if condition so if parent value is greater than value so we will move to left but we will move to into else condition because 20 is greater than 18 so if parent value is greater than 
or parent value is uh, less than the value we have to insert then we will move to its right and we will insert 20 here so that's why we are taking one extra pointer to check the null condition and to connect our new node which we have to insert so let's jump to the code so this is same what we were doing let's try to run it so your given test cases are passing so let's talking about its time and space complexity so uh, talking about its average case so in average case the time complexity of inserting is of the order of the height of binary search tree given so it occurs when the binary search tree formed is a balanced binary search tree so hence the complexity will be low again and in talking about its best case so the best case occurs when the tree is a balanced binary search tree so the best case will be log n means it is same as the average case time complexity and in worst case so in worst case we might have to traverse from root to the deepest leaf node that is the whole height of the tree so if the tree is unbalanced that is it is a skewed skew tree skew trees let's say we have to we have one two three or one two three in this way it is a skew tree means we have to we have to traverse from root to the deepest leaf node then in the worst case time complexity of both insertion and search operation will be big of n and talking about its space complexity so we are not using any space it is constant big of one so that's why it is better than our recursive algorithm so yeah that's it for this video if you still have any doubt you can ask in the comment box and please do like share and subscribe to the channel to, to support me so thanks for watching and being here thank you